The West Coast Eagles have a new coach with Andrew McWalter, the man picked to lead the club into its new era. And he joins us now for the first time. Andrew, welcome to 7 News, West Coast and WA. Thanks for having me, Ryan. I can imagine your feet haven't quite hit the ground. A wild 24 hours. Has it hit you yet? Uh, look, I'm probably running on a little bit of adrenaline right now, but um, look, I'm just really excited to be here. I um, understand it's a big job ahead, but I'm um, really grateful and humbled by the opportunity I've been given. Now, from your presser this afternoon, it sounds like you want to play fast, frenetic footy. Should the players be ready to run? Yes, the game requires you to run really fast, really often. So, um, look, it's not about just playing fast all the time. We need to play a style that can do both. But um, certainly looking, looking to be able to, um, to play fast at the right time. Just looking at the playing list, Andrew, what, what most excites you about this list? Yeah, I think there's some like really good senior players still on the list with, with lots of good footy ahead of them. Um, and there's clearly some young talent on the list, as well as guys that we maybe haven't seen the best of yet. So um, there's lots of stuff that have excited me about this, this job and the list being one of them. Harley's just one player, but it's pretty exciting to be the coach who gets to coach Harley Reid and all that he could be. Yeah, I shouldn't get it wrong, should I? Um, <laughs> no, he is. He's clearly got a lot of talent. An exciting player. I, I, I witnessed it firsthand over here. The crowd, the noise they made when he went near the ball was something different. So, yeah, we'll look to, um, to maximise him as much as we can. Eagles fans are hungry. It's been a difficult few years. What will your promise be to them? Oh, look, simply that I'll give everything that I can um, to the football club, to the community. Um, we'll work really hard to, to get this club climbing back up the ladder. It's been a really successful club for a long period of time and you know, a few lean years, which happens for, for various reasons, but we'll look to improve as much as we can really quickly. What was it about West Coast that made you want to put your hat in the ring for this job? Yeah, I've always admired the club from, from afar. Um, you know, they've been in, in the league for 37 years and, and been really successful in that time. Um, have clearly built up their off-field to be a powerhouse of the competition. And I think the appeal of being a big club um, was, was something that I was really excited about. But also the, the people within the football club, um, everyone I've ever spoken to has spoken highly of everyone within the football club. So, um, yeah, really aw awesome opportunity. You've been at a couple of successful clubs. Your time at, at Richmond, there's three premierships there. In your opinion, what is the most important element of a successful footy side? Oh, look, footy's really simple. Ultimately, you need, you need everybody pulling in the right direction, having great belief in the way you want to play and, and care and, and support for each other. So um, we'll look to build that. Um, clearly, talent plays a factor at some stage as well. But um, I think it's all about building an environment where everyone feels valued and, and pulling in the same direction. What are you going to look to do potentially in the trade free agent period? You've got a lot of questions that are going to hit your board straight away. I, uh, I'm going to get my head on a pillow and try and get some sleep and then I'm going to try and deal with all of that over the next few days. Um, certainly there's some opportunity, I'm sure, to, to, um, to look to improve the list and um, we'll be looking to do that, I'm sure. You've got a young family, mate. You're going to have to move them across the country. What's the plan with that? Yeah, we will. And we've got three girls. They're very excited, as uh, I'm sure some of you will have seen today. They were, they were jumping out of their skin at times. But um, we'll probably finish the school year over in Melbourne and then we'll look to, to move the family over in the new year. Thank you for joining us tonight, Andrew, and best of luck for the journey ahead. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it.